Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Favor Miss Woman here again. So earlier on, I'll be leaving the link to the video somewhere around here. I did a review on the old version of the mission of the Misha Aqua Misha Aqua SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 sunscreen. And I said there was a new version. I was also going to do my review on the new version of this sunscreen. So this is what the old version of the sunscreen looks like. So if you haven't seen that video yet, please do ensure that you watch that video i'll be leaving the link somewhere around so you could go and check out the video later and yes so in today's video i'm basically going to be doing a comparison between the old version of this sunscreen and the new version of this sunscreen and i'm just going to be giving you my general thoughts on the new version this is what the packaging of the old version of this sunscreen looks like and this is what the packaging of the new version of this sunscreen looks like so basically they didn't really do much the packaging of the new version where the packaging of the old version of this sunscreen has this square like this square like format the packaging of the new version has this rectangular like packaging format let's dive right straight into comparing the two so basically they wrote the same thing in the packaging the both of them still have this sleek aesthetically pleasing packaging they maintain the same colors which is basically the white and the blue the only major difference between this and the, when it comes to packaging is the fact that why this one made use of light blue this one made use of a darker shade of blue but basically they still have the same aesthetically pleasing sleek packaging effect okay for the new version it also has this 12 month sign and this basically means that the moment you open the sunscreen the moment you start using it after 12 months it expires so you just have to finish using it before 12 months or the moment it reaches 12 months you dispose the sunscreen so that is just what this basically means so coming to what is written on it in the old version they wrote a hydrating sunscreen quickly absorbs into the skin to moisturize and smooth tired skin after sun exposure with a cooling sensation while in the new version they wrote a hydrating sunscreen is infused with aqua aquaporin i don't know if that is the correct pronunciation active formula that delivers a burst of moisture as soon as you apply it to hydrate skin without a sticky feeling so basically both the both sunscreen are hydrating sun the old version contains relief water oriental tea nuplex the new version of this sunscreen they also wrote a hydrating sunscreen like a cooling hydrating sunscreen they also wrote it helps reduce the temperature of the skin it helps improve moisture loss due to uva rays that is what is written here somewhere here and yes that is basically that so in the direction of the sunscreen they basically have the same direction take an adequate amount and apply to the face we apply as needed during sun exposure so the both sunscreen have the same direction they have the same caution discontinue use if irritation or rash occurs do not use unbroken or damaged skin keep out of the reach of children do not store in direct sunlight do not stay in the sun for too long even while using a sunscreen product so that is basically that for the caution the major difference between these two sunscreens is when it comes to the ingredients so if you watched my previous video you noticed that in the ingredient list of the old version of this sunscreen alcohol was one of the active ingredients that is it was one of the first few ingredients in the ingredient list while coming to this new version you won't see anything like alcohol so the major difference between these two sunscreen is basically a change in the formula i feel like nice of them the alcohol is not one of the active ingredients in this new in the new version of this sunscreen okay the old version of this sunscreen also contains fragrance although it's not one of the active ingredients but it does by this new version i don't think you would find anything like fragrance inside of it so let's open up the old version and the new version and see what it looks like this is the old version of this sunscreen this is what it looks like and this is what the new version of this sunscreen looks like so there's basically no much difference only that it is shaped this way for the old version why in the new version it just has this sharp edge stuff 
so coming to the old version open let me open the new version this is what the new version looks like and this is what the old version looks like so they basically both have this screw like opening so there is no much difference when it comes to um the packaging and the rest is basically almost the same thing as i said the major difference is in the formula i think about this sunscreen is that uh, when i wanted to get this sunscreen it actually took a long period of time for me to get this sunscreen i kept looking all over the place for the new version of this sunscreen and then i finally got the new version i got the new version of this sunscreen for 7500 naira why i got the old version of this sunscreen for 5500 naira so that is a difference of 1500 i can't really say the price in dollars into this new version of the sunscreen me getting the new version of the sunscreen i was expecting that since i was going to get the new version of this sunscreen that they will actually do something to the sizing of this sunscreen that is the size but you won't believe that me getting this sunscreen as well it was still not up to the brim like it was still like half of the sunscreen like how the old version of the sunscreen was believing the picture of how the sunscreen looked like when i got it somewhere around here so let's go to the application how it feels after applying the sunscreen so i'll be showing you guys how the sunscreen looks like upon application i'll be showing you guys a video of when i use the sunscreen but first of all let me show you what it looks like on my hand here so this is it i'll just be taking a little and yeah that's basically it and then i'll rub this and rub this rub this way so just like the old version of this sunscreen it doesn't take much time to blend it still feels light it doesn't feel heavy just like the old version of this sunscreen so when it comes to applying my sunscreen i love to apply it on the way down to my neck and i also make use of it too for my way this sunscreen is light in texture it doesn't stain the eye and then after applying it i notice that it gives this shiny glowy finish unlike the old version that after applying it it gives this mattifying finish this one leaves this blue finish after applying it this sunscreen for me doesn't leave white cast it blends easily into the skin as well the only major difference is the fact that it gives this blue finish or like the old version that gives a mattifying finish after application but generally i think i also like this sunscreen I also do not think that people with oily skin will enjoy this new version because of how it looks after the application. But this new version of this sunscreen, it doesn't feel matte after applying it. It still feels like something is there. Like this is what my hand looks like. If, as you can see, it has this glow, this little glow in it. This is what my hand looks like after a while of applying it. So, I feel like for the old version, it, it leaves this matte feeling after applying it. While for the new version, it doesn't leave this matte feeling, but generally it is still a good sunscreen and it is still a good buy, but I do not think for me I will be repurchasing this sunscreen because, I mean, I got the sunscreen for 7500 when I got the sunscreen, it wasn't up, it was just like half of the, the container and getting a sunscreen for 7500 and it's just like half the container i do not feel like it is going to last for like up to a month or so so i generally do not feel like i'll be repurchasing the sunscreen so that is that for my general thoughts and the review on the old version and the new version of this sunscreen so this new version actually still blends easily into the skin you can still reapply it it doesn't feel tacky after applying it into the skin but if you look at yourself you just know that yes i actually did apply something on my face unlike when it comes to this old version of the sunscreen this sunscreen is generally good my only issue when it comes to this sunscreen is the size and is the fact that it is just half the bottle and the fact that i am getting something half the bottle for 7500 it is not to 15 mils as stated 
other that they change the formula and it doesn't give this matte finishing as before but i generally like the fact that they remove alcohol from the active ingredients in this sunscreen and i generally also like the fact that there is no fragrance in this new version of this sunscreen aside from the pricing the size and the matte finishing of this sunscreen i feel like everything is okay so if you want to purchase the sunscreen you can actually go ahead and purchase the sunscreen this sunscreen is actually good it is actually a good buy looks like a few hours later as you can see my face is oily this sunscreen does also sting the eye thank you guys for watching we have come to the end of this video please do not forget to like this video tell me what you think in the comment section and of course do not forget to subscribe and see you in my next video